Everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz. The universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today. Nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So I'm going to go over uh, alchemy today. I'm going to do uh, one... Uh, Alchemy, I'm going to talk of uh, with yoga. So, so um, there's a specific alchemy. Uh, it's divine alchemy. And, and it comes with uh, a specific yoga, which is Kriya Yoga. And uh, I'm pretty much just going to go into uh, what Kriya Yoga is, uh, the divine alchemized uh, process, or the, the alchemy. And I'm going to... Uh, also go over what um, it can do for us okay and um, it's gonna be a pretty enjoyable video so let's get right into this um, alchemy if you do not know what alchemy is alchemy is uh, pretty much um, a transformation okay very very simply alchemy is transformation uh, you can obviously see uh, chemi, chemi uh, this is Pretty much uh, where it is now, chemistry. Uh, alchemy is a little bit older of a term, okay? But um, alchemy is more like, I want to say it's more inward, you know, uh, because you can take conscious uh, function or you can take conscious manipulation of your, of your chemical uh, manufacturing process or your chemical states and you can change these and you can transmute your state, and you can uh, shift your, your chemical state, uh, and you can even uh, trigger mutation from this, um, and, and this is uh, what alchemy is. You know, it goes much deeper, but uh, just to keep it simple, this is what alchemy is, uh, transformation in a way, but much more than transformation as well. So uh, there's various degrees of alchemy, uh, there's more subtler forms of alchemy, there is uh, more potent forms of alchemy. There is uh, various different degrees of alchemy. You know, everybody knows alchemy. Um, at least subliminally, okay? Everybody has a sense of alchemy in them uh, only because we all uh, can shift our chemical states. So we all know a sense of alchemy, but it could be just subconscious to some people. Some others, it's conscious. Um, now, now, uh, various different degrees of alchemy, and and this is I'm getting into divine alchemy uh, on this one. So divine alchemy is uh, coming with a specific yoga, okay? And and, and yoga is uh, the conscious process of aligning your individual body's geometry with the universal body's geometry. So coming into uh, union. Okay, and this is what yoga translates to in Sanskrit, Hindu Sanskrit, it translates to union, because this is the process of coming into union. Okay, um, now, now, there's many different types of yoga, uh, but, but the one that bring, the one that is of divine alchemy is, uh, Kriya Yoga. Okay, and, and, uh, Kriya Yoga is all about, um, transforming your your energies okay uh bringing a different energetical state to yourself okay um and and kriya yoga um was brought by by um babaji okay shiva all right adi yoga um or adi yogi so so shiva pretty much uh, brought Kriya Yoga to us. And then um, now we are able to practice Kriya Yoga, 
Okay, and, and this once again brings about divine alchemy. So uh, what this can do for us if you're practicing a Kriya Yoga, it can actually um, accelerate our evolutionary uh, except accelerate our evolutionary rate so so the whole point of of life here on earth is to evolve okay this is the whole point if you're not evolving then uh you're digressing or or you're uh degressing or or however you want to say it you know you're going you're falling uh and you're reverting back to to lower states of being so so here on earth the main thing that we need to attain to or achieve is uh our evolution okay as a as a collective and um what kriya yoga does for you it brings about uh it is of a divine alchemy you know so so if you're doing kriya yoga you're going to um very much accelerate uh the evolutionary process within yourself because kriya yoga is uh, going to allow you to um, dissolve away your karma that you've uh, pretty much, uh, how do you say it, that the karma that you've pretty much accumulated throughout this current lifetime and even uh, karma from your past lives. So what Kriya, Kriya Yoga is gonna do for you, it's going to be able to, um, it's going to, to uh, allow you to dissolve away karma, not of this life only, but of a uh, past life as well so any of the karma that you have accumulated throughout multiple lifetimes that can actually slow your 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 evolutionary process um as a soul or even as an avatar whatever it may be uh is going to be is going to be slowed up by that karma accumulation or that karmic accumulation so so whenever you're doing kriya yoga you can actually go to the process of, of alchemy and you can transform uh, and you can bring about the acceleration of your evolutionary process for that transcendence that, that we all need from matter into spirit. And this is what Kriya Yoga is uh, allowing us to do. So, so, And this is also divine alchemy. The reason why it's divine alchemy is because it's allowing us to uh, alchemically, al it's allowing us to alchemically um, transmute ourselves into more of a, of a spiritual form uh, from the, the matters form that we have uh, in, been encapsulated in, you know. So uh, Kriya Yoga is bringing us uh, this divine alchemy, right? Uh, or it is of a, a divine alchemy. And it's uh, once again accelerating the evolutionary process. So everybody is, once again, everybody, if you're here on the earth, we're all we're all trying to achieve that state of that state of spirituality you know uh from matter from flesh the third dimension into spirit okay um and and everybody's doing this but you can do it in many different ways and and this is where it's going to go either way this is the natural evolutionary uh path that we're all taking uh but but it's just um for some people they can wander off of the path they can uh, de-evolve, you know, and, and, and they can take a little bit longer than other individuals. Uh, or you can, slow, you can slow up your evolutionary process from matter into spirit uh, by accumulating uh, much karma, you know, not only of this individual life, but of your past lives as well. Um, and, and, and in order to dissolve all that away, you can take up Kriya Yoga, um, and, and as you are doing the Kriya Yoga, uh, you're coming into union. This is, uh, you're coming into a, a specific type of union. You know, this is what yoga is. It's um, coming into union with the universe. And, and coming into union with the universe is going to allow you to uh, sacredly, um, sacredly uh, renew yourself on, on a genetic level and, and, and cleanse yourself. And as uh, you're able, as you're doing this, uh, that that renewment is going to bring you into um, accelerating evolutionary processes of, of matter into spirit. Okay, so so um, Kriya Yoga is, is an excellent source of being able to uh, being able to accelerate the evolutionary process. And if one person is doing it, um, 
then then they can light the light the torch or, or even unfold the path for another person so um that's literally all there is to it when it comes to evolution we're all doing we're all living here on the earth for the same thing it's all evolution if you're not evolving then you're you're gonna you're gonna feel some type of suffering because of it because you just you you're gonna feel um like you're not achieving what needs to be achieved or or not even achievement uh more so you're not in the flow of things you know um uh, but even then if you're if if you're like devolving it's all just a matter of flow as well so uh or even perspective so you can then um uh, see uh, uh any type of devolution as a type of uh lesson that you're teaching yourself to uh come back to uh accelerate that same process of evolution into into a uh, spirit you know from uh the flesh so uh, you can you can uh you can take up yoga if you want a uh, divine alchemy then uh it's kriya yoga but there's many forms of yoga okay uh all yoga is going to allow you to come into union with the universe but uh many different types of of unification can take place and um yeah that's pretty much it for today's video you can accelerate the process of evolution for yourself uh by getting into kriya yoga okay um the the bringer babaji or or um adi yoga adi yogi or even just shiva you know uh shiva that which is not the destroyer god so he pretty much destroys um who we are or who we think we are conceptually okay uh to meet with the void and and uh conception listness okay and uh from there we're able to uh transcend into uh pure states of consciousness uh and spirit okay so it's pretty much it for today's video once again though so I do thank everybody for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Drop a like on today's video as well. Comment down anything if you have to add. Um, peace out. One love. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. One love. And have a great morning.